We back on the court at Club Corbett for the first time in a hot minute for a new chapter of a 70-year-old rivalry as North Carolina a and hosted Hampton in the borough for the first time in four years. But this time, they both rep in the Big South, as the HBCU hoop rivalry makes its way into its third conference. And bruh, if this is what the Big South Pirate Aggie rivalry is about to hit on, I'm here for it. Eight technical fouls, three ejections, man, the refs was even out there ejecting folk from about the bleachers. And being in Club Corbett for this one, felt like Nas talking about the tunnel in 9-9, as the students and the mascot were here for all that Hampton smoke. Reminding us why the Corbett Center is one of the toughest atmospheres in all of college basketball. The Hampton Pirates pulled up looking to get their first win in Big South Conference play and get that ship back on course to the big dance after a three and eight start. And the boys from the 7-5 came out that locker room wrecked to get active. And as for the Aggies, they came in 2-0 in conference play and have showed up on the Big South block looking like the new kid ready to take over. And I should have known by the layup line dunk contest that it was a wild out Wednesday at the club. a and getting it started with a steal off the double team. Demetri Horton takes it straight downhill for the and one to put the Aggies up three. Then it's Marcus Watson, putting old buddy in the tumble dry spin cycle and folding them up with the soft leg. That puts a and up eight early in the game. Let's go ahead and make it 11. A&T up 15 to four after Cam Langley finds Marcus Watson for the corner three off the inbound. But here come the Pirates. They cut the lead back down to four with 10 minutes left in the half. But Cam Langley to Big Webby Fillmore pushed it back to eight. Then it's Najee Garth, right back with a three and some smoke for the OGs in the alumni section. But the frustrations continue for the Pirates down the stretch in the first half. Tyler May, clean with the mid-range pull-up. Webster the Fillmore, doing his job with the putback. Then it's Demetri Horton with some putback work of his own, this one plus a foul. How about another Horton and one off the steal and the Aggies was out here putting it on him. They go into the half up 17, but not without a little bit of drama heading into the break. Pirates with the sword out slashing into that lead in the second. Najee Garvin finding Ray Bethea for Trey. The boy Najee Garvin back with a couple real nice takes of his own and Hampton cuts the lead down to 11. Then it's Jeremy Taylor. He daggers a three in Najee Garvin's face and hits him with a little stare down. Aggies right back with some good D on the other end. Jeremy Taylor, come get this work. He pulls up for another three. The Aggie lead is back to 20, and the club goes wild as if Holyfield just won the fight. But Hampton wastes no time. The long inbound pass to Najee Garvin, Demetri Horton with the tough foul to stop the bucket, and my G Najee Garvin, he ain't like that one bit.
Club Corbett, waving goodnight to the bad guy as Najee Garvin hits the locker room after the ejection. And with the club on 10, the Aggies piled it on the Pirates. Cam Langley to the bucket with a nice lay. Jeremy Taylor, back though, little Joe. Aggies up 25 with 12 minutes left to play. But one of my 10 court commandments is when they scrap, somebody coming back. And Hampton wasn't leaving Club Corbett without a whole entire fight. Ray Bethay Jr., he say it's takeover time. He gets one nice take to the basket, followed by another nice take that ends with a goal to him. Chris Godwin nails a three. Then it's Russell Dean. He gets a steal. The Magic Johnson no look pass to Ray Bethay, and that's a bucket. But they find that Chris Godwin in the corner for three, and the Pirates chop that Aggie lead from 25 to seven with four and a half left to play. And are you not entertained? Hampton and A&T showing us that this Big South HBCU hoop thing might be hitting on something a little different. But it was A&T making those big plays down the stretch when it mattered most. Cam Langley finds Colin Smith for the game seal flush, and A&T fends off those scrappy Pirates with a 67-59 win over Hampton. The Aggies improved to 3-0 in the Big South, and y'all know I couldn't leave the club without letting Cam Langley hit that slack.